Hello everyone, how are we all doing? I hope everyone is very fine. Welcome to Jesus TV. This is your girl, Mabel. So my people, I really want to thank you people for coming around, for viewing my channel. Yes, I want to thank everyone of you for subscribing to my channel. Yes, it is not easy. And for those of us that this is my first, their first time of viewing my channel, please, Ed Joe, help your girl. Subscription is free. Please subscribe to my channel. And click on the notification bell so that whenever I post a video, you get notified. So my wonderful people, yay! What is the gist on the ground? Ah, well, this gist is a very sensitive gist. I don't really want to dive into it like dive, 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 dive. Yes, but let's talk about it and ana analyze it. And let's get to know people's opinion because this is an interactive um, section, an interactive um, channel. So everybody gets to say their mind and their opinion. So the gist goes like this. Um say um Olori Sekinat is the first wife of um Oba Sahid Olegushi. Yes. And later on, they have three girls, three female children. And these people have been together for a long time. And you know, whatever um Oba Sahid has, it was both of them that built their empire together that was before he ascended the throne in 2011. Now, Abi 2011 or 2015. So now, the gist is like this so Oba Oba Sahid needs a male child, so he went ahead to marry um Hadiza Tanko from Kano and they got married and she gave birth to a baby. I, I think she was pregnant she had to resign from her job because she was working with an oil company so they got married and she gave birth to a baby boy and the gist is the gist is that the social media handler for adiza's page it does not even show con like the person that handled the social media is always posting the boy's picture and always selling the hair apparent to this uh to Oba Sahid, the Legushi's empire. You know how you held the child and the other opponent will pe feel like or the other person will feel like oh, you're mocking her because she doesn't have a male child. So okay, these things went on and all they've been having headlocks, like they they don't use eyes to see each other according to the gist, like they are always fighting, you know, because um um uh Sekinat Olori Sekinat has refused to allow um accept Olori Hadiza as her co-wife. And I don't really blame her sometimes because I don't blame her anyways, because this is a man you've actually built a lot with. This is a man you have actually, you know, gone through fire, through snow, through whatever it is, through with. And now that he's blessed because of male child, he's trying to leave you for he has left to not even try for another woman. And the woman is not even making things easy for you because she has a baby boy and this is they are just putting it to your face. And the gist is that um Olori Sekinat has been going around telling people that, according to the gist, that the husband cannot actually give birth to a male child, that she didn't, she doesn't even know where this child came from, as in this male child that Hadiza gave birth to. So, and they should check it. And do you know that recently, that Olori Hadiza has um, had a, 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 a daughter, a child, so she just gave birth. So, and now that they have actually lost the son, I, I um she and uh, Olori um Sekinat are even like both of them now have female children. This is the gist, and this is what they actually want to. Um, this is what Olori uh, Sekinat was actually telling people that uh, Oba Sahid cannot have a male child. So my wonderful people, now the gist where they tell, but I mean, in fact, I think this is what the Oba had, and this is the problem, and they now think that um, Olori Sekinat is, is responsible for the boy's death. My people, I didn't even know that, ah, that she has another girl. My, my, my own, I don't know what to analyze in this particular issue, but I just think children are children. Child is child, whether girl or boy. As long as you have a child, you have a child. You should be able to give glory to God and thank God that you even have one to call a child. Talk more of three. You have three children. You have three girls. You have one girl. You have two girls. They are all children. 
the most important thing is that you have someone to call you mommy, to call you daddy. So this is the issue that has been circulating all over social media. In fact, this particular just came out that the second wife just gave birth to a baby girl. And now she and Olori Sekinat are even. They have baby girls, baby girls. And I'm sure people are watching, still watching, because this particular gist is not going to die down anytime soon. People are actually listening to know if Olori Hadiza takes in for the king again, is she going to give birth to a baby boy or a baby girl? If she actually gives birth to a baby girl again, which means she has confirmed all the things that Olori Sekinat has been telling people that the Oba Oba of Iketa land, Iketa land cannot actually give birth to a baby boy. That it is girls that he's meant to give birth to. I don't know how true is that. And besides, we are men, not God. Uh, it's only God that can determine what sex, uh, what sex of a baby that he can give to anybody, any couple. So my people, this is the gist on the ground, and they have been fighting and all that and all that. I don't really blame the first wife, actually. This is a man you've given so much to, you've built so much with, you've sacrificed a lot, you've sacrificed your blood for, and him showing his love to another woman and it's really really painful anyways if we are to judge it that way we are all women and we know how painful it can be but what can we say this is oba we're talking about oba is entitled to as many women as he wants to marry but depending how he i mean like i would say it is him creating a um, understanding between his two wives and this is it. Showing equal love to both of them and letting them know that they are both important to his kingdom. So my people, this is the gist I brought to your table. And this is your girl, Maybell. So thank you all for listening, for coming around, for viewing your comments. I'll be waiting for your comments in the comment sections. Bye.